Vacations data. Blast off with Nihilus today. Hello, welcome to Coding with Nihilus, the live stream where we talk about programming, APIs, and more. Uh, my name is Black, Senior Developer Advocate here at Nihilus. And my name is Ram, uh, Developer Advocate at Nihilus. Hello, Ram. How are you doing? I am good. I'm excited about today's live stream. We were talking about it earlier, uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to jump right in. What are we going to talk about today? Uh, so today we're going to talk about how to schedule events with any calendar API. And by the way, <coughs> this was published. <coughs> I'm sorry, this was published yesterday on our Nylas blog post. So you can go to uh, nylas.com backslash blog how to schedule events with any calendar API. And you're gonna see there all the information. So awesome! Before we move on, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, youtubecom nylas. Give us a thumbs up, uh, leave us your comments, and just follow us. So let's move into the interesting part. So what we're gonna do today is, as I said, we're gonna create an event using Ellie Calendar API. So you know that we have different SDKs. So we have one for Ruby, one for Node, one for Python, one for Java. But maybe you don't use that, your company doesn't use that. So you can still use the APIs to send emails or in this case, create events. So we're gonna start by showing how can we do it by using the programming language R, which is by the way, one of my favorite programming languages of all time. Um, it's it's really nice. I mean, I just love it. And it is used more for data science, but it can use for everything. So let me share my screen. And we're going to see for the source code. <clears throat> Here I'm just setting the working directory. So I'm sending to, to my own folder. And then I'm calling the libraries that we're going to need. So HTTR. It's a library that allows us to work with uh, web uh, addresses or with APIs. And .emp is a library that's going to allow us to read uh, M files, which is where we're going to host our uh, information. So here we're just loading the file. And here we're going to have our API key and our calendar ID. So here we're gonna define the body of our call. Just gonna do a paste. So we're gonna have a long string. Here the title is gonna be learn R with Nylas. We're gonna have a start and an end time in epoch format. We're gonna have a location, which is Black's name in this case, but it can be whatever. We need to pass a calendar ID. Here we're gonna grab it for our end file. And we're going to need at least one participant, which is case, it's just going to be me. So once we have that, we want to grab our API key. In this case, we're not using an SDK, so we're not passing client secret, but we're passing uh, the access token. With that, we can do a post call. So we're going to pass the URL, api.nightlast.com, backslash events. And we also want to notify participants. So we pass as a parameter, notify participants equal true. So we're going to pass the body. And the body is this, all the title and location and calendar ID, etc. And we're going to add the headers. So we're going to pass the authorization better, which is on the API key, which we retrieve for our M file. And we want this to be JSON. And the result of that, we want to print it on the screen. So we're going to code it as a UTF-8. So for this one, we just can press here, source. And we're going to get back all the information regarding our event. So it should have been created. If we go to our email, here it is. We receive this invitation, learn with Nihilus at the appointed time, etc., etc., etc. So, has been created successfully. So, then we're gonna jump into Julia. 
So Julia is a programming language that I started learning around 2016, I think, and it, I think it was released in 2014, something like that. So I started using it like a, a couple of years after it was released. So it was kind of like one of the early adopters. And it's a language that is widely used for data science. So it's kind of like a competitor to R and to Python. And, and it's really nice and really powerful. So let me share my screen again. And here we have the Julia source code. So in this case, we're going to load the packages that we're going to need. .emp to load our M file. HTTP to handle HTTP requests or APIs. And also JSON, because we need to encode uh, our what we're going to pass to the Nylas API, we need to encode it into JSON. So here, just going to load our M file. We're going to define the endpoint, so it's going to be the same. API.nylas.com, events, and then we're going to notify participants. In this case, we're going to create a dictionary uh, as the body of the call. So here, we're going to have the title, learn Julia with Nylas. Uh, we're going to have a dictionary for the start and end time. We're going to have the location. We're going to grab the calendar ID for our end file. And we're also going to create a dictionary for uh, the participants. So a quick also, one for you. Mm -hmm. uh, just to jump in, I, I, we mentioned calendar ID a few times. And this is just one of the your calendar IDs. It's just the user's calendar ID that you're dropping in here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is my, my own calendar ID. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to grab the calendar ID that you define. So you can go and, and grab the list of calendar IDs. I'm just using the one that is uh, tied to my account. OK. Um, here we're going to define the header. Here we also need to uh, pass the access token as a better. And here we're going to call the endpoint. So here we're going to do an HTTP post. We're going to pass the URL. We're going to pass the headers and the payload. We're going to turn it into a JSON. So once that's done, we're going to print the response. If we go to our terminal, run Julia, create event.jl, execute it, and it's going to give us the response. And OK, I haven't seen this before. Do you have the packages installed? Yeah, the package has to be installed. Um, I don't know what this is, this CHOLMD. So probably there was an update to Julia that I wasn't aware of. So let me just do this real quick. So what I'm going to do here, just in case I'm going to try to load the packages, which I should have already. Something real quick. Uh, okay. I haven't seen that before. I'm not sure if Julia was updated or there was something regarding one of the packages. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. So let me share my screen again. Here, I forgot to actually use a package. So use event. That's weird. Okay. That was the joy of live streaming. Let me just yeah, I guess while while you work or mm -hmm. take a look at that, I like how the flow of most mm -hmm. of the code samples are pretty straightforward. Where you have your imports, you bring in your environment variables, you drop in uh, the information you want for the invite, and it's a simple uh, one call to the Nihilus API to be able to create an event. Yes, um, <laughs> it seems quite straightforward. 
mm -hmm. um, to do using the API. And I, I know we don't have package or SDK support for all the different languages, but we do have a RESTful API that you can use to kind of build out any calendar event or to use the calendar APIs uh, of any provider like Google, which is what we're using in this example. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's true. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy to use just by calling uh, the API that's passing the right information. So yeah. let me see. I think I have fixed it. Let me see. Uh, no, for some reason it's giving me the same. Uh, oh, oh, actually. Is okay. it the syntax you're okay. using for package, REPL? It, you need to get into a REPL for package, right? Into what, sorry? Uh, REPL, like you need to get, get into package to install the packages, is that how it works? Yeah, they were installed already. So what I did basically is I reinstalled them. Okay. I just ran it and now we got the response back. So gotcha. okay. it's working, but still it's giving me this error that I need to investigate. Okay. So yeah, that's something with the library. So just to kind of like make complete. So if I go into Julia, I'm gonna go into the kind of the CLI. Uh, here we need to go and say using package of PKG, which is kind of like the the manager for packages, and just go PKG add and here the name of the package. Uh, I reinstalled dot okay. m. Well, actually, I reinstalled all. So everything is installed. And now that I run it, it worked. So we can see here it actually worked. So I might need to investigate what is this weird C-H-O-L-M-O library. Uh, gotcha. If we go here, we can see that they have it here. So learn gender okay. was nice. So it's working. Not sure what happened, but we're gonna we're gonna investigate. Uh, now let me jump in into our next one and last one, which is gonna be how to do it in Perl. And Perl is a really nice language. I mean, I basically learned it because I already know new Ruby and Python. And for me, like the holy trinity of programming languages is Python, Perl, and Ruby. So I was like, no, I need to learn Perl. And I actually learned it like probably five years ago, so not not so long ago. I really like it, although the syntax can be kind of strange sometimes. And you're going to see what I mean in a second. Yeah, I like the themes for these languages. They all seem related to data manipulation or working with data. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's very useful for that. I mean, his uh, Perl's capabilities to do text processing are amazing. So it's a pretty widely used language. Uh, so here we got some pragmas to ensure our code quality. So just strict warning diagnostics. So strict means that we need to declare everything. Warnings is like a warning is going to be treated as an error. And that diagnostic is going to give us kind of like more information about our, uh, our application. So we need several packages here. We're going to use a request from HTTP. We're going to use encode. Uh, we're going to use JSON. We're going to use this user agent and also .emp. So here we're going to load our .emp into a variable. Dollar sign M, and here we're gonna access the access token and the calendar ID. So we're gonna create a new user agent to be able to call the API. So we need to do user agent new and assign that to our variable user agent. Uh, we define our endpoint, which is the same for all languages. And then we define the body of the call. So title, when it's gonna start, when it's gonna end, and here you can see that on the email, I'm using a slash before the add. Why? Because I need to make it escape. Because actually, in Perl, the add is when you're going to create an array. So if I pass it like this, it's going to say, hey, email is an array. But it's not initialized or anything. So I need to escape it. So it becomes a string, and it's not going to seem that it's an array. So that kind of threw me off for a bit. 
like well, it's like I don't have any array. <laughs> That's the way it is. I mean, Perl uses different signs for different kind of variables. So once we have this data, we're gonna encode it into JSON, but also we're gonna encode it into GTF. Then we're gonna pass that URL to uh, our endpoint call, and then we're gonna pass the headers. So we're gonna pass a better with the access token. We're gonna pass the encoded information as a content to the request. And then finally, we're gonna be able to do the request on the user agent. If the response is successful, then we're gonna decode the message and present it on the screen. Otherwise, we're gonna display an HTTP error just showing up what went wrong. So let me save this. And go into a terminal, create event PL. And by the way, if you know, PL is the same extension for Prolog. So I wish they created separate ones because sometimes I want to do something with Prolog and it thinks it's Perl and vice versa. So if we run this, it created the event for us. If we go here, We should receive it. Uh, no, thank you. In a second. Here it is. Learn Perl with Nylas. And also we have here learn R with Nylas, Learn Julia with Nylas, and Learn Perl with Nylas. So we have created three events using three different languages using the APIs that Nylas provides. That was awesome, Blog. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I know we talked about this before. Do you have a preference between the three different languages just from your experience of building out API calls? Oh, yeah, for sure. One of my favorite languages is R. So I try to okay. use it as much as possible. Um, also, kind of like my favorite, favorite, favorite is Fortran. But I don't think okay. it's that easy to use it for API calls. <laughs> but one day gotcha. I'm probably going to use it for sure. OK, yeah. Yeah, I think I think your dog was most excited about R as well. I heard him barking in the background, so yeah. <laughs> I think there's consensus on R. But yeah, they're they're great languages to use. I really like the examples you walk through, and it's awesome that you can just use the Nylas API and connect to any communication layer like our calendar API and just start creating events in Google Outlook or any other provider. That was awesome. Yeah. So don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel, youtubecom Nylas. And we have something coming on Friday. So what's coming next, Ram? Yeah, on Friday, we're going to talk about building a scheduling app. So you'll have two different users for the application. You'll have someone that wants to provide like a service, like grooming for one of our dogs. And then you can have someone like us that actually wants to book that service. We're going to show you both sides of building out a scheduling app and take a look at what that looks like. Cool. I'm totally winning for that. It's going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> so. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Don't forget to go to our nylas.com backslash blog where all our blogs reside. Uh, we publish a bunch of them about the different topics. And don't forget that our live streams go every Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. EST, 8 a.m. PST. Something else that you want to mention, Ram? Oh, that's it. Stay tuned. Uh, we have live streams every week, twice a week. And mm -hmm. yeah, blog, that was great. Uh, really excited to try out uh, the Nihilus API using one of these languages. Cool. Awesome. All right. So thank you, thanks for rushing and see you on Friday. Bye. Take care. See you.